the police officer for the sacrifices they make. Because I want to thank the people that protect me, my friends, and my family. Because of you, our family is intact. And I know that you guys are angels who saved our daughter's life. They sacrifice their lives every day, and they need this love. Today is National Law Enforcement Appreciation Day, and all morning long we are celebrating and appreciating those who put their lives on the line each and every day to keep all of us safe. We have many joining us in the studio right now, and a few to share their thoughts. Joining us right now, our panel. First, we have uh, Chief Rich Busby, uh, screen left, the president of the New Jersey State Association of uh, Police Chiefs. He served in law enforcement for 40 years, and we have Chief uh, Lisa Parker. We've got Dr. Richard Celeste, James Hunt, and Sergeant Joseph Imperatrice. Thank you all for your service to all of us. Uh, Chief Busby, let's start with you. You've been in law enforcement for over 40 years, and it's been a trying couple of years, given the fact that there were a number of police shootings over the last couple of years, and then culminating in your area with Hurricane Sandy. Yes. Uh, it has been a difficult time for law enforcement, and frankly, um, days like this are great days. Uh, they allow us to They're talk... They're not frequent enough. The, uh, I would have to agree. Uh, they allow us to talk back with our community, and uh, without their support, we couldn't do what we do every day. Uh, Chief Parker, I know that uh, you come from a law enforcement family, don't you? Yes, sir. Tell me who's, uh, who came before you. So my father was in law enforcement for 40 years, so I grew up seeing him as, my, uh, as a role model, and actually all of his children followed in his footsteps. All of the children? All of his children. Why is that, do you think? I think we come from a family of service, and it's the role model we've had, it's what we know, and it's uh, what we're comfortable with. Can I, could you guys, uh, a show of hands, how many members of law enforcement here have another, followed in their father's footsteps or their mother's footsteps, or you have somebody else in the law enforcement business? Well, particularly here on the front row, thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Richard Celeste uh, retired in 2002 as Somerset County's deputy chief after 26 years in law enforcement, currently the director of the Somerset County Police Academy. And I know you've had a l very long and uh, fulfilling career, but in particular, when you were talking to one of our producers yesterday, you said one thing that sticks out, this kid I helped once upon a time. Oh, well, the, uh, I, ironically, the things that law enforcement officers do often are not related to actual law enforcement. And in this particular situation, uh, we had a medical emergency. We responded to the house, a young four-year-old autistic boy uh, in, a, in a high panic, uh, along with his parents, needed medical attention. Earlier in the day, we had been at a, uh, another event, and I happened to have a plastic uh, police badge in my pocket. And in the, in the tense moments, all I did was hand him the badge, and he sat right down where he was, and we were able to medically attend to him. And uh, the look on his face, you just don't forget after close to 40 years now. No kidding. Uh, James Hunt uh, is the former New York... Uh, DEA special agent in charge. He retired just two months ago after 36 years. I, you were in on the Bonanno crime family, taking some of those members off the street, right up through El Chapo, right? Yes, sir. Tell me about uh, why you decided to go into law enforcement. You had many options when you were a young man. Why, why become a cop? Well, like many of the people on the panel here, my grandfather was uh, a cop. My father was in law enforcement. Uncles, cousins, brothers in New York City detective. So... Basically, most of the men in my family uh, went to law enforcement. So, really, for me, it was a gradual progression to make that decision. Yeah. Uh, Sergeant Joe Imperatrice, uh, you've seen him on the channel a number of times. You also following in your father's footsteps. I did not realize until I read this that the shield uh, that was yours when you were a cop was yeah, your dad's. Uh, your parents always tell you that. They want you to be better than them, but my father never realized I always wanted to be the same man that he was. So in 2006, when I graduated, I was able to have the actual shield that he wore on patrol, and uh, he always taught me to wear it with honor, do it with pride, and do it the right way. And uh, that's the most important thing that meant to me is that shield, that little piece of metal. One day when you were uh, out on the beat, a teenager was stabbed. You convinced him to go to the hospital. Remember that story? I do. Uh, it's probably one of the most poignant ones in my career. So uh, just like officers do every single day, they do great things that don't capture the uh, eye of the media or the paper. And we show up, and nothing out of the norm. It looks like a puncture wound. And the young child, he didn't want to go to the hospital. But uh, his mother's like, please convince him. So I did. And months later, 
I forget about the situation because we do it every single day. And I have a woman behind me start yelling, hey, I've been looking for you. I've been looking months. I've been looking for you. Yep. And I said, how are you? And she started to cry. And she said, the night that you showed up, she goes, we took my son to the hospital because of you. And if we didn't, he would have died the next morning because he had internal bleeding. And uh, that meant the world to me to have someone come up to me and just thank me for something like that that you don't even realize that you're doing. Sure. Well, you all mean the world to us. And to, because today is National Law Enforcement Day, uh, we're, you know, it's great to have you on television. We're going to take care of you. We've got uh, breakfast ready for you in the green room. We're going to have you outside. Uh, a lot of people are going to shake your hands today, i got a feeling, and say thank you. And by the way, if you see a police officer today, do the same thing. Go up to him and say thank you. It's Law Enforcement Appreciation Day. Guys, gal, thank you for watching.